Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We have changed locations just for this video, I promise. Um, I My room that I film in is right next to Eli's room and he has not been napping very well. He's just not been napping. So I need him to nap today because I got a lot of stuff to get done. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back. We're gonna film in the bedroom. It's gonna be a great time. Also that other room that I film in, it gets really warm in there. My heat is on like super high right now because it's like negative three outside and um, we don't have any like blinds or curtains for the windows. So it's just like sun exposure, like, it's so it's just it just gets really warm in there and I'm wearing this like huge sweater but, like the rest of the house is kind of chilly so anyways I'm off of the babbling let's move on into the video right Okay, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my winter essentials, and I thought this would be the perfect day because it is so cold. It's probably, my my skin overall has changed dramatically in the last two weeks. I'm in pain, people. I'm so dry. It is out of control. It is so, it's been really cold. We've gotten a lot of snow. It's just been, it's cold. So I thought I would kind of do this video slightly different and the fact that I'm not like this is a great product for the winter obviously all of these products are great for the winter but these are just things that I'm actually using right now to like help my skin out um I don't know I feel like I've had a couple weeks here to kind of test stuff out and not just test stuff out but really see okay is this a winter essential for negative three degree weather um because yeah I have I have some good stuff though so I have a couple of makeup -y products that I honestly have just been liking and using and I feel like they're a winter essential and I feel like I'm going to be using them quite a bit here in the winter and then obviously I have a ton of skincare products for you guys. Okay, so let's start off with the couple of makeup products that I have. Um, if you watched me last winter, I feel like I've kind of brought out everything makeup-wise that I used last year and like last winter. Um, so this foundation combo you will definitely recognize. Um, I've been using the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid Foundation, and then I've also been combining it with the Jouer Illuminizing Moisture Tint. I don't know why, I just love this combo. I loved it last year, like talked about it all the time. Um, but this one has really nice coverage, but it is definitely a matte finish. I can't do matte foundation in the winter like any even if it's like slightly satiny alone it will just cling to everything I could be like uber moisturized too and it'll just like like shrivel up and like die on my skin sorry that was graphic um but I love combining these two because this is super super moisturizing it has even like a tiny bit of like shimmer not that you, you're like glittery um but just like a hint of like glowiness to it and like I said it's super super moisturizing the only thing is it doesn't have a ton of coverage I love this on its own but then these two together just kind of give me that perfect combo I kind of do like a tiny squirt of this and then a lot of this um and mix it together and I just love the way it turns out every single time. Gives me the coverage and the moisture that I need. Okay, also in the winter, I have to fake a glow. I have to fake it because I love glowy skin and obviously nobody wants dry, cracked, aging, crepey, gross skin. Nobody wants that. Um, so I always kind of tend to gravitate towards more glowy products. I feel like a lot of people on YouTube are like, I need glowy products in the summer. I'm like, my skin is pretty balanced. Like if I keep putting glowy stuff, my skin's going to look like a glitter ball. Like I don't need that in the summertime. I need it in the wintertime because my skin is so dry and crepey looking. Um, so I love adding this to my foundation. This is the Josie Moran Argan Illuminizer. It's just like this liquid kind of highlighter, I guess. Um, but it's a great tone because it's kind of like a neutrally beigey tone. Um, and it's just perfect to add to any foundation to give your 
skin, that kind of glowy, dewy look, illuminized look. It doesn't turn out any like shimmer, you don't look like a glitter ball. Um, it's just kind of like the perfect amount of sheen to look healthy and glowy when you are definitely not. So I love this stuff, it's super awesome. Um, Josie Moran has really good oils as well, which we'll, we'll get into the oil part next, but just a great illuminizer to add to foundation. Okay, quickly, I just wanna mention the Hourglass Ambient Powders. I've talked about them to death. I use them all year long, but I really do tend to pull them out in the winter. Um, I've obviously used up that one, but I just love these. Um, I actually own the separate one. This is Dim Light, I think. Yeah, I own the separate like full one of that because I obviously I loved it so much. Um, but this, these are just great powders to kind of dust over. Um, you can use it as a highlight. You can use it all over the face. They just give you a very, very subtly natural glow to your skin. Um, and I find that these powders don't cling. They're not chunky. They're not cakey. They glide over the skin very, very nice. They're very sheer. So I love them for the winter time. They're just very easy powders to work with. Okay, the next thing is a blush. I feel like this is just really funny because this is like an OG product. If you have been with me for a very long time, you know I love this blush in the winter time. It is Max Tenderling. I love it. It's like this very neutral, nothing blush, but it is so pretty. I'm wearing it today. I just love this shade. It's so pretty in the winter time. I can't really wear it in the summer because it's too light. Um, so if you have darker skin than me, um, or if you don't really have fair skin, this just might not show up on you, but I just feel like it's such a just natural, very subtle, perfect blush for the winter time. I feel like in the winter I can't wear, I'm so fair that I can't really wear bold colors on my cheeks. I look crazy. Um, so this one's just a great neutral blush. Okay, and then last thing for makeup, I have been really into like burgundy purples on my eyes. Don't know why, I've just been really into it. It's been making me feel festive. I don't know why, the holiday time maybe. I just have really been into adding like plums and just like burgundies kind of to like, kind of incorporating it in with my everyday neutral color, my boring colors that I wear every day. Um, I love the combination. So I just wanted to point out a couple. I've been using Max Cranberry a lot. Um, which is kind of like a pinkyish purple. I'm wearing that on the crease today with Sable from MAC on my lid, which is kind of like a plummy taupe. So I really love the combination of the two. It just is very, it's color. I know, I'm wearing color, people. And then the other one is MAC Sketch, which is just like a really great plummy, purpley, deep purple color. So I love, I just, I love the combination of like taking these colors with other neutrals. Um, and then I've been like seriously digging into this palette. It's, I think I name it like my favorite palette every year, but the Chocolate Bar Too Faced palette is so good. I've been loving the cranberry shades or like the burgundy shades here and here. And then I love combining them with these colors. They're just so, so pretty. So that is my, that's my winter essential because I've just been really into it. Okay, so let's move on to more serious things. Let's talk about the skin. Um, I have to carry this with me pretty much all day because my skin dries out. Anytime I put makeup on, um, probably by halfway through the day, my skin will really dry out and become really just chapped and irritated and makeup dries my skin out. <laughs> um, so I love wearing it, but it dries my skin out. So I have to carry these around. It is a MAC, um, the MAC Fix Plus. I talked about this many times on my channel before, but it's just a really great, I don't know, they call it a setting spray, but I feel like it's more of like a nourishing, hydrating mist to me. Um, so literally I'm almost out of this. It's like in my purse all the time. I need to get one of those, like, I think they have a little travel size of these. I need to get that for my purse so I can just be like all day long <laughs> just spraying my face. Um, and then the other one I just got and I'm pretty much obsessed with, it's just as good as this, is the Pixie Glow Mist um, with Propacil and Argan Oil. I don't know how to say those names. I'm not very good at pronouncing crazy fancy names. Um, so 
This is so good as well. It's super hydrating. It says it's a nourishing and hydrating mist. It is so nice on the skin. It feels so nice. It smells really good. And I, I have to say both of these are essentials because skin so dry. Okay, I talked about this in my favorites last month and honestly, it has really been helping with the application of my makeup. Um, so this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I've been using this every morning as my daytime moisturizer and I feel like this moisturizer has completely helped me to put on foundation without feeling like it's sucking the life out of me. I can, like I'm telling you, like I can put on the most moisturizing foundation and my skin can still get really tight throughout the day, really crepey. Um, but this has really helped kind of lock in moisture into my skin. And it's also kind of helped me not feel so chapped. I feel like even if I'm not wearing makeup, I always make sure to apply this because my skin can get really chapped throughout the day and it just doesn't feel very good. So this has definitely helped. I absolutely love it. It's a really nice daytime moisturizer. I don't even know if it's enough at night, but for the daytime, it's perfect. Um, the other thing that I feel like is completely essential, and I'm sure you've heard people talk about this, is oils. I feel like oils are so good for your skin, not just for your face, um, but for your hands, for your nails, for your hair. It's just really nice to add to your routine in any kind of way. Just like soak your body in oil. Um, I love this oil and I, um, I had a sample of this before and I just got the full size. It's the Derma E Skin Hair and Nail Oil. I've actually been using this on my hands because my hands have been so, they've been like bleeding and like cracking. They're so dry. Um, so I've actually been using just a little drop on my hands and just kind of like rubbing it in and just like letting them sit and it's, it feels so good. And I've been using it on my nails because my nail, I can't even put nail polish on right now because my hands are cracking and, and dry. Um, but I, ha I ha the only thing is I haven't tried it on my hair yet. So I'm really excited to try it on my hair. On my skin, it feels super nice. I actually used this as my moisturizer the other day. I wasn't wearing any makeup. I usually tend to not use an oil when I'm putting makeup on because I do feel like it kind of breaks up the foundation. It doesn't lay very nicely. I love the Clinique one better for my face because I feel like my um, my makeup just lays nicer on that one. Um, but I, I have used it when I just don't wear makeup or at night just put a little bit on and just let it like... Just drink into your skin. It's so nice. This is definitely a great oil. Let's talk about some masks. Yes, these are what has been saving my skin, people. Honestly, like I've been trying to keep my routine. Um, just add maybe a little bit of oil, add some more moisturizer. Like you can't, you can only do so much to your skin, but I feel like masks have really been helping me and um, just kind of save my skin. Okay, so I have a ton here to share with you guys and for different reasons. Um, the first one is the Tula Exfoliating Treatment Mask. I've talked about this so many times. I'm sure you're like sick of me like bringing this out and talking about it, but it's so good. I love this one because in the winter time you have a lot of dry skin, peeling skin, skin that you need to exfoliate off and this is the exfoliating treatment that you need. It just kind of exfoliates everything off obviously but it doesn't suck the life out of your skin. A lot of the exfoliating ones or just really like detoxifying ones just dry the heck out of my skin and irritate it even more. This one however does not do that and it just kind of leaves your skin very like normalized. I wouldn't say it's like, ooh, it's moisturizing. No, it's not moisturizing, but it's it's no, it's it feels normal. It doesn't feel like it sucked the life out of your skin and now your skin is even more irritated. So I love this one. It's so good. I honestly it's so good. Um and then I love these two kind of do similar things to me. This is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. A little bit of this goes a very, very long way. People don't go crazy with this because I've gone crazy with it and I break out. Um, it will clog your pores. 
So just use a tiny bit of this at night, um, just all over. I've used it on my neck, I've used it everywhere, um, and it's so good. Actually, I tried to use it on my hands the other night because I was so desperate, because my hands were like throbbing and it burned the heck out of my hands. So don't use it on your hands, it's not, it's not a good idea. Um, and then the other one is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud. Um, I use this overnight as well, um, kind of the same way I use this one. They're just great overnight hydrating masks. It just kind of adds a little bit of moisture and I feel like it really just locks the moisture in overnight so then you wake up and your skin isn't as dry so love this and then the next one is the uh, first aid beauty five-in-one bouncy mask so this is kind of crazy it's like this weird like gel like a gel and it's like literally like bouncy like you press it and it's bouncy um, and it kind of like it acts as like a gel mask and it like puts all this moisture and like nourishment. It feels very nourishing. That's a really good word for it. And you just let it sink in and it's kind of a little bit of a cooling effect. And then you rinse it off and your skin feels really just refreshed. I wouldn't say it feels, it feels hydrated, but it doesn't feel like your skin is like dewy. You know what I mean? Like it, it just feels like your skin is refreshed. Like it's like, ha. <sighs> I just drink a bottle of water and I feel good now. Um, so I love that. It's a really nice one. And then the other one is kind of a fun mask, but it does, I feel like it really does kind of help hydrate my skin and just kind of nourish it. Um, it's the e.l.f. Hydrating Bubble Mask. I tried this like a couple times with my husband and he was just like, laughing so hard. So it comes out as like a gel. You like get your face wet it has to be wet oh your face has to be kind of moist too with the bouncy mask um so this your face has to be like kind of moist and kind of wet and then you take this like gel and you like just kind of put it over everywhere and then all of a sudden it starts to turn and turn into like foam and bubbles like all over your face and by like the end like there's just like bubbles everywhere on your face. It's kind of crazy, um, but it's really nice. I love it. It's it's just a really great mask, and this one's really affordable as well. So those are my masks. I love them. I cannot live without them. Okay, so a hand cream that I've really been loving, and it's definitely been helping. It's not totally solved the problem, but it has been helping, and I've really enjoyed the feeling of it because it's so thick and creamy. It is the Tula Moisture Locking 18% Shea Butter Hand and Nail Therapy. So it's a hand cream, and it's just really thick. Like, it's just like this really, I don't know if you could see it. It's like a really thick cream and it just feels so nice like and, uh, it feels really nice on your skin I wouldn't say it solved my hand um, my hand cracking and bleeding problems but it has definitely helped a little bit and yeah I've been I've been enjoying it I put it on every single night and even during the day um, and then for my lips okay I I'm like the driest lip girl known to mankind like these matte lip, liquid lips are like killing me like I need I need some gloss I need some moisture or something on my lips um but these I put on every single night and it always makes I literally can feel these on my lips the next day because I like cake this stuff on it is the Nivea lip butters um this one's in the vanilla and macadamia kiss one but they have different like flavors or scents or whatever but I love these they're really thick and they're really creamy and like I said I put them on at night then I wake up in the morning and I can feel it on my lips still and it my lips feel like pretty moisturized so love that okay last two things I want to leave you guys with um, the first thing is something for your body. I feel I really love Aveeno products. Um, I've actually been using Aveeno products on my son and I feel like it has helped his skin because his poor skin is so dry too. Um, but I really, I kind of go towards this body lotion every winter. I actually get the dry skin relief. I think it's like a light blue. Um, this one isn't as good in the winter, but it's pretty good. Um, it's good all year round and I like it because it's fragrance free. Sometimes I'll put like body creams that are fragranced and it tends to burn my skin rather than like actually like do its job and like hydrate my skin. Um, but the dry skin relief by Aveeno is really nice for your entire body. I really like it. I think, 
I don't know if it's like eczema or like winter skin itch. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember. Um, but it's really good. All of you know, like all the hydrating ones are really nice. I know they have an eczema one. And I know I've tried it and I know it's good. So it's just a really nice body lotion to put it all over your body. You need moisture all over your body. Not just on your face or your hands. And then the last thing. I feel like these are really a good thing to have and to be taking. Obviously you need to drink water and you need to nourish your skin and uh, your body in other ways to help your skin out, but these have really been helping me. These are the Ali Vibrant Skin for hydrated and youthful skin. It has hyaluronic acid in it, collagen, and sea buckthorn. And I feel like it really does kind of balance out my skin and I feel like it has been helping a little bit. Um, I, I totally forgot I had these. I've had these for a while. I'm almost out. And I've noticed like when I take these, like the next day, it's, it's not as bad on my skin. My skin is pretty balanced and I, I, I feel like the long stretch of my skin is a lot better. So I definitely suggest taking a vitamin. I always suggest taking a vitamin, but these are definitely good for the skin and I definitely, I definitely suggest them. Okay guys, so that is it for my winter essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave everything and link everything down below. If you have any video requests, always put them down below. I hope you guys liked this video. Subscribe if you're not, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.